So here at the Freescale Technology Forum, uh, did you launch new sensors? Yeah, today in fact was a great day for us because we launched our uh, new altimeter, extremely accurate with 30 centimeter of uh, accuracy and especially designed with a low power application and a lot of embedded functions which enable uh, to have an easy uh, adoption of this kind of altimeter for navigation, location based services, but also can be used as a pressure sensor for a very accurate application for medical and industrial. Is there, does it mean that future smartphones are going to know how high they are? Definitely, they will know how high uh, you, you will be. They can differentiate when, which floor you are in when you do some indoor navigation. They can also give you barometric information about the weather forecast. They can give you uh, accurate temperatures as well. So all of this in one sample, uh, one chip. So it's going to be more sensors giving, we say, uh, one more information about your environment, about uh, what you are doing, and about your navigation. So if you combine this with other sensors like accelerometer and magnetometer, you can also use a gyroscope to get a complete inertial navigation system, uh, which helps you to have a more accurate uh, navigation, more accurate naviga positioning for uh, indoor navigation and also outdoor navigation. So when you buy, uh, if you buy an IMX, you can get the sensors included, or you can take the sensors and put them on any other yeah. chip as well? We are providing exactly this, uh, this both uh, type of business model where we can provide a complete platform like uh, the Sabre 2 where we have our platform with a magnetometer, Adonamix 53 and an uh, accelerometer or we can provide all the chipsets to other type of, uh, of platform, mobile phone platform or other type of application processor. Yeah. So a sensor is a, each of these sensors are a chip by themselves or kind of like combined? Uh, where, where does a fusion happen? Okay. Is that only software or where is the fusion? This fusion can happen different level. The first uh, level is definitely that application processor where you have a fusion which is happening at a software level. Right? The software is just taking care of basic data from different sensors and combining these together. However, to be very efficient, and it's what we call the asymmetric processing, uh, you need to have a, a, some kind of a small microcontroller which are able to combine uh, this uh, sensor at a, we say low to medium level with macro command filtering, for instance, and provide aggregated data to the main application processor. And it's where you can save more than 90% uh, of power consumption compared to the classical approach. So this is uh, the way to go for efficient system. However, there is no, I would say, uh, um, there's no one solution for everything. So it's why we are providing discrete solution with aggregation of the sensor data at an apps processor and outside the apps processor as well. So at FTF 2010, uh, the Fusion was launched. Yeah. And is it in products now? How does it work? 2011 is happening because in the so behind, we have already a uh, complete product where we do already a fusion between accelerometer and a magnetometer for an e-compass and we're already doing this outside an application processor or inside an application processor. So now we are effectively executing what we announced uh, last year at FTF. Does that mean smoother augmented reality when you turn a the phone it just reacts much faster and stuff like that? It can react much faster because if you do this processing and the fusion, data fusion um, at the sensor level, you save a lot of time. You can really do some real-time type of uh, application. And on top of that, you have lower power consumption and easier way to use the sensor fusion. Since we provide already aggregated data, applications are easier to be uh, to be uh, uh, developed uh, uh, thanks to this. Uh, to, uh, to this Sensors. Uh, it's, it's called MEMS, right? Uh, what do you call it? MEMS is in fact a macro mechanical structure which are used. Uh, to build sensors. So most of our sensors are MEMS, like pressure sensor, accelerometer, uh, the gyroscope are MEMS as well. However, we have also non-MEMS sensor like magnetometer, which is still silicon kind of uh, uh, magnetometer uh, uh, sensors, but we cannot call them MEMS because nothing is moving. So it's, it's a very, very big market, right? It's, it's lots of billions of dollars. And, uh, How big is it going to be? This, uh, it's 9 billion sensors in 2009 and uh, is going to, uh, to increase by more than 50%. Nine billion sensors? Nine billion sensors, sensors yes. It means that it's more than a couple of sensors per uh, phone, because today you have about one billion phone in the market, and you have all, many other markets uh, beyond this kind of uh, phones, like uh, gaming, like uh, automotive, medical, uh, and also wireless. So are there phones right now on the market with Fusion? 
yes, but well, most not of yet. the fusion is done in that processor, okay. not at the... Uh, the extra uh, microcontroller? Sensor. Yes, not yet. So how soon? It's pretty soon. Pretty Just soon? Stay tuned. The next uh, big phones, smartphones might have it? Yes, definitely. All right.